a three-time world champion and two-time Brazilian national champion with an 80% submission rate, Nicholas Muragali is arguably the best and most exciting gi submission grappler in the world. And just to remind everyone of that, he decided on three weeks notice to throw on the gi in preparation of the Pan Am Championships. There were a couple factors that made his return to the gi so exciting. What influence would his no gi training under John Donaher over the past year have on his gi game? And how would his rematch with reigning world champion Eric Muniz go in the inevitable absolute finals matchup? Let me just say, he did not disappoint. While the influence of Donaher and Marigali's game is a bit more nuanced, which we'll touch on later in the video, the answer to the second question was clear. Marigali was on another level. He capped off his double gold Pan Ams run with 6 of 7 submissions on the day dominating Eric Muniz towards the end of the match in full mount. His performance really made me excited to want to explore every little aspect of his top and bottom game. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. To start, Marigali didn't spend much time on the feet throughout his seven matches, but in the few moments he did, he was looking to do his signature Uchimata, a judo technique implemented into his game while training Nogi under Donaher. He's been having a lot of success with it, and it definitely seems to be his favorite takedown. He even won the best takedown award at the recent 2022 ADCC Championships for his Uchimata against Tai Rutolo. At Pans, his few attempts were unsuccessful, but he did hit a sneaky reversal from standing. Here, Eric Muniz is working the single leg and attempts to hit the outside leg trip to get Marigali to the ground. As Marigali loses his balance and begins to fall, he uses his left hand grip to arm drag across and shuck Muniz right on his head. Now, Marigali's guard passing and guard playing are both at such an elite level, which really speaks to just how well rounded he is. He's a true two way player, which is not common at the highest levels and especially uncommon in his weight class of super heavyweights. From his back, Marigali is insanely diverse, utilizing and mixing an array of open guards such as a deep lasso. De La Hiva, Collar Sleeve, and X Guard. His deep lasso guard is primarily used for tying up and slowing down the opponent while working towards a sweep. I actually made a video a few years back on his deep lasso, which you can check out on my channel if you want to see more details on it. His collar sleeve guard is probably his most dangerous guard, where he threatens a barrage of submissions like loop chokes, triangles, and domoplatas. And with his De La Hiva and X guards, he typically combines them to play what's known as Deep De La Hiva X, or De La Hiva X, making his way to the back or just looking to sweep. But as of this tournament, there was a major evolution in his guard that I noticed. The addition of the X guard. He used to only use the X guard in combination with Deep De La Hiva, but now he uses it exclusively. And at Pans, it was actually his most used guard. It was so effective that some variation of X guard led to 5 out of his 6 reversals from bottom, either allowing him to take the back or end up with the sweep. His preferred entry typically involves using a same side pant and collar grip combo while the passer is in the headquarters position. In this scenario, he pummels and shoots his leg through as he pulls his opponent's weight forward and kicks up to get under him. His opponent tries to counter with a hip switch, but it gives Mirigali the opportunity to switch to the underhook and sit up for the sweep. Again, in his division finals match, Marigali uses the same collar pant grip combo from bottom HQ to begin to enter into the X guard. His opponent attempts to counter with a barambolo, but being out of position, Marigali is able to capitalize and make his way to the back. Lastly, in his quarter finals match was an example of him using a deep lasso tilt sweep to create an opening for his X guard. His opponent does a good job basing out on his head to avoid the initial sweep, but Marigali has an opening to get the underhook slip in his X guard hooks and pulls in to bring him overhead to finish the sweep. Just a quick shout out to my affiliate BJJ Fanatics where you can find hundreds of on sale instructionals taught from the best of the best including Nicholas Mergali. For instructionals from his guard to his back takes you can find it all here. My affiliate link will be in the description and comment section below. Now back to the video. One thing Mergali has always been known for is his blitz style passing. Toriandoing and leg dragging people into oblivion like an absolute savage. His approach for Pan Ams was overall much more methodical and pressure oriented. And we mainly saw this approach with how he would come up off of sweeps and reversals. 
maintaining a low base and tight connection as he slowly pressure cooked his way into and through the half guard. For example, after hitting that reversal on Eric Muniz, Mirigali immediately set up the guard pass by using his shin to pin Eric's leg and arm to the mat, then cross facing to flatten him out before getting head and arm control. Now using the instep to tripod and free his leg to go right into mount. Mirigali even showed his half guard pressure passing when dealing with the open guard. Here against Roosevelt Souza, he goes for the shin flip, forces a half guard, and immediately controls the hips as he begins to work the cross face. After completely flattening Roosevelt with some serious shoulder pressure to the face and inching further and further through the guard, Roosevelt does a last ditch effort to bridge, but Mirigali bases out and spins right around to the back. For the most part though, his open guard passing showcased some vintage Mirigali. Leg dragging right off of the sweep, and here some more good old leg dragging off of the tire flip. But regardless of how he got there, Marigali's goal in nearly every match was to assert his dominance by securing the top or back mount, and then getting the submission. And his first match was definitely the beginning of him making a statement, when he finished with a smother choke from mount. This would be his only finish from mount since the majority of the time when he would make his way past the guard, the opponent would turtle and Mirigali would take the opportunity to jump right on the back. From here is where most of his damage was done, subbing 5 of his opponents with bow and arrow chokes. And the improvement of Nicholas's bow and arrow finishing skills is just one of the many things Donaher talked about in his post pans interview. He explained how his goal for Mirigali during the Pan Am Championships was for him to have a Hodger Gracie like performance. And it's safe to say he achieved that by submitting 6 of 7 opponents from either top or back mount. What was critical in having a showing like this was his newly improved pressure passing. Mirigali always had the movement and submission skills, often leg dragging and toriandoing people to oblivion to make his way to the back for the choke, but the proof of his pressure passing evolution was on full display at Pans, inching his way through guards with slow and methodical control. Donaher's influence on Marigali after a year of nogi training didn't just show up in his guard passing but all areas of his game. From the feet, we saw Marigali nearly landing his favorite Uchimata throw he's brought over from nogi, and then from his back we saw out of almost nowhere the X guard become his main guard, using it to sweep in nearly every match. There's no doubt Marigali was a total beast before Donaher, but his game is quickly evolving and you gotta give credit where it's due. Quite honestly, I've never been the biggest Donaher fan and maybe that's because I'm more of a geek kinda guy. But things are starting to change. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.